The road to recording your first album is never as straightforward or as quick of a process as many may think. For some of the luckier ones who crack the industry, writing, recording, production and day of release can all take place within the space of a year. For some, from the point of being signed to the release of their debut record, it can take a hell of a lot longer. Case in point, Francis and the Lights, the electronic experimental group led by lead singer Francis Farewell Starlight. This, their debut album entitled Farewell Starlight, released back in September, comes nine years after the release of their first EP. In between then, the group has collaborated with artists like Bon Iver and Kanye West, Drake, Birdie, Chance the Rapper and many more, and the group also scored the terrific movie Robot and Frank. So, they've been pretty busy to say the least. To be honest, I wouldn't have even sourced this album out, nor given it a listen if it hadn't been for the circulation of the lead single Friends, which has been played on Radio 1 for a few weeks now. I found myself won over by the velvet-like production and instrumentation and unconventional layered vocal effects that were delivered not only by Francis, but also from the featured artist Bon Iver. And considering this was being played on commercial radio, that's very unlike a station like Radio 1 to be doing something like this, so... They must have seen something in the track in order to have given it a push. But once I checked the album out, I found myself incredibly surprised with what I heard, in the sense of how much I liked it. Conceptually, the album dictates the passing of a relationship, how our lead attempts to move on from his former lover, only to find himself back in this person's arms, and when she doesn't reciprocate his feelings back and rejects the idea of getting back together, he's left mired back on square one. He once again has to go through what he previously experienced, only this time it's worse for the guy, having that faint bit of hope snatched away from him. Some may say that this is his fault, since he should have been more aware and wiser throughout this scenario, but for me, it's framed with such a fragility that I find the story rather sad yet relatable. Opening it up with See Her Out, parenthesis, That's Just Life, where Francis' lover breaks the news that she no longer wants to be with him, he's sad yet understandable, wishing her well on her way and attempts to maintain a positive outlook despite recognising that the road isn't going to be a smooth one. Leading into the next two tracks, Come Back and Can't Stay Party, where he strives to leave his heartbreak at home and quash those emotions through having a good time before rekindling with his ex, which he bumped into at the same party, and both go off to have sex, this being covered on I Want You To Shake. Falling back in love with his ex, he proclaims his love for her on May I Have This Dance, but unfortunately the female in question doesn't reciprocate his feelings, and this time the despondency really hits Francis hard as covered on My City's Gone, which is primarily about Francis recollecting about how much his hometown has changed over the years, also used as a slight metaphor for the decay of this relationship. But it isn't long before we see Francis moving on and growing from this experience, seeing his determination to leave behind this chapter on Running Man Gospel OP1, accepting that it's okay to cry and release all his pent up emotion in such fashion on It's Alright to Cry, finally accepting that he'll never be able to have a romantic connection with his ex, but that he still loves her enough that he can accept being just friends with her on the penultimate song Friends, before ending the album with Thank You, where he's now recognising that he's entering a new chapter in his life and he's ready to accept whatever comes his way, the good, bad, ugly and the downright shitty times as well. Whilst this album is lyrically cohesive, we do reach this album's biggest crux, and that's the instrumentation, production and, to a degree, the vocal performances. As mentioned, the instrumentation is rooted into the electronic experimental areas and there are plenty of moments that are to be hailed. The combination of fuzzed droning and echoed synths woven into the piano on comeback with the simple electronic percussion is simple yet pleasant. The bass synths with brief stabs of synth keyboards on I Want You To Shake have a great danceable nature and really gives the Peter Gabriel comparison some weight, which is the same story on May I Have This Dance, which combines the piano terrifically with the volume shift in synth noises and it's all right to cry which has an almost ethereal quality with the gentle keyboard synths in the opening which come into full life as the track progresses my city's gone registering as the most restrained and melancholic track coming the closest to a piano ballad on the whole album and again i have to mention friends for its gorgeous deliverance and easily being the best track on the whole album vocally there's a heavy over reliance on layered vocal deliveries that are also electronically enhanced and digitalized which can be too much of a distraction at times and that's only made all the more distracting when going hand in hand with the instrumentation making some of the lyrics complicated to decipher without reading them off a computer screen the worst example being running man gospel op1 which starts off fine but descends into this spasmodic and highly unattractive array of noise made possible by a synth sampler some may call it abstract 
I call it fucking horrendous. And that's a shame because moments like that greatly affect and that's a shame because moments like that greatly affect what could have been one of this year's best albums. Don't get me wrong, I still do endorse this album and recommend giving it a listen, but with some cleaning up, it had so much potential to be more than what was given. It's a consistent and competent concept with a handful of strong instrumental moments that do become tough to get through with a lack of restraint and at times unclear vocal deliveries. However, this album has enough in terms of character, emotion and heart that I cannot dismiss this album at all. For me, the positives outweigh the negatives and this is a great that I'll be investing my time into for the foreseeable future.